Well, hello everybody. How are you? How are you? My name is Wayne, and you're still watching Inside the Montclair. Today, I'm here on Bloomfield Avenue. We're going to be visiting Studio Montclair. Of course, right now, today, well, folks, are having a special show. Going down Bloomfield Avenue. We passed right in front of Studio Montclair, and we saw the big poster sign about tonight's special occasion, State of the Art 2019. And you see these three people that aren't really sure if they want to talk to me? They're standing here right here. <laughs> but I was not over here. Introduce yourself. Tell me what your name, please. <laughs> I'm Susanna Baker. I'm the Executive Director for Studio Montclair. And you be? I'm Dennis Orloff. I'm the Vice President of Studio Montclair. And, sir? I'm Dan Epstein. I'm one of the membership co-chairs of Studio Montclair. And I know you've been in Montclair for 5,000 years, something like that? Give At say, least. At least something like that. <laughs> Suzanne, what actually is happening today? Well, this is our annual member show, which is an opportunity for um, all our artist members to show work. And this year is the biggest show we've ever had. It's over 200 members are exhibiting work here. That it's sounds like almost every member in the organization. Well, no, we have, oh, five, we have almost 500 members. Like I said, members. it's about half of the group. About that, half, yeah. yeah. But normally we get between, I'd say, 80. And last year we had 105, I think, which was our biggest yet. So this year, 200, oh, 207. Pretty is, amazing. Is this one of the, you do this once a year? Once a year. This but is you're having many other activities, obviously, throughout the year. I know that. Right. Course, well, all the other exhibits are, are curated exhibits that you enter to get into. This is the only exhibit that's open to every single member. Um, okay. So it's a great opportunity for people to show, to network, to come together as a community. I think it's fabulous. Now, don't you go away, because I'm going to eventually walk with you to one of your pieces of work. But, sir, your thoughts yes, about sir. being here. Give me some idea of what kind of me meetings we have today. What kind of meetings I mean, we have? We have photography. Is that basically oh, we have anything? photography. We have collage. Yeah. Oil paintings, acrylics. Um, uh, there's such a Sculpture. wide variety. Sculpture. Yeah. 3D stuff. I think there's a video piece down mm -hmm. there too. So we, um, Studio Montclair has a complete range of artists. Uh, any anything you can imagine, we have, and you know, ultra uh, modern, traditional. Uh, you know, we love it. It's just the. Give me a smidge of feedback on some of the other things you do throughout the year. What we do throughout the year? Yeah, what does Studio do throughout the year? I know you have other events. Well, mostly we have, uh, as different Susanna shows, said, right? we have different shows. Uh, so, but the members have to apply for the show. They're juried uh, okay. and yeah. you're curated. And you, if you get accepted, then they're really wonderful shows. And it's so it great to have to this in in our own space. This is this is only the first year or the second year now that we're going into our own special space. Maybe you want to mention too that we have two other wonderful spaces. Please tell me. Um, we have a, a little a small retail store in Upper Montclair where it's not so much exhibits as kind of ongoing um, rotating art and craft because a lot of artists may do craft yes. um, when they don't know you know where to sell it or show it and we have a place for that now. And we also have an incubator space, which is um, is that for, ba for babies, uh, like a baby hospital? artists. Baby artists. <laughs> I could have got a couple of ways with that. Don't you laugh? I mean, it could have been a few things. Hold that thought. You had something hanging here. That's one of your pieces of work. Yes, right over here. Step right in front of it, please. Yeah, right here. What are we looking at here? Uh, this is an acrylic painting that I did this year. It's called Winter Afternoon. So I do uh, acrylic paintings on gesso panels, and it captures a scene from uh, an area I go up to visit. That's an New actual place, right? That's an actual place. Did yes. you actually do any painting there, or did you take that thought home and then do the work? Uh, I, had, I had reference that I brought home, because it was winter. It's very hard to paint outside in the winter. Yes, the paint probably freezes. Yeah, so do Davis, I. Thank you. Uh, Dan, come here. Come here. First hey, of all, well, say hi to everybody. Hey, everybody. Tell everybody your name. I'm Dan Epstein, as I said earlier. How do you feel about having your work being seen? I know you probably do this often, but well, this you is know, kind of special, I don't right? exhibit in galleries all that often. As you know, I'm a, an editorial and corporate photographer. Yes. So my work is in a lot of regional magazines that people probably see: Suburban Essex, uh, Inside Livingston, uh, Little Falls Magazine, North Jersey Woman Magazine, and a bunch of you know bigger, bigger periodicals. But listen, the reason I'm here is that I like to do the work that's not on commission. So this happens to be one of them. This is uh, an image I made in the kitchen at Tim Ho Wan, which is a uh, dumpling restaurant in Manhattan. Wow! Very and I made it, you know, for myself as opposed to my other work, which is mostly done in commission. Well, it's always been a pleasure talking to you and seeing you in town because, as we both know, you've been doing this forever. Yes, but and you're really good at it. And let me give you a pitch. I want to make a pitch here. Yes, sir. I'm the mem one of the two membership coordinators. If you make art uh, and you're in the area, 
not just Montclair, but you know, as within striking distance, please consider joining. Come. We have we have the galleries that were mentioned earlier. We also run uh, two show, two or three shows a year at the um, Montclair Library. Okay, good. And good. we have uh, critique groups where, which are like salons. People get together. Uh, on a, on a somewhat organized basis to give each other constructive criticism and inspiration. It's really a worthwhile organization for visual artists. And I know it's been here for many years and with people like you it's going to be here for many, many more. I'm hoping. Thanks for chatting with me for a second. Thanks day. very much, Wayne. Okay, Suzanne, where'd you go? Um, this is my piece over here. Okay, folks, by the way, I'm going to be stopping by and letting you see a little bit more of some of the work. Where, where are you? I'm right here. Stand next to it for a second. What am I looking at here? It's a, pr a monoprint that's um, sewn, and it's a collage that's sewn together. Oh, wow. Is this the kind of work that you primarily do, collages yes. like this? Yeah, well, I do a lot of printmaking. How do you feel with people looking at your work? I love to show my work. I hope you were going to say that. Well, listen, congratulations. Why, well, why would why I, would I, not, would I not love I it, know. you know? Thank you for chatting with me for a while. I'm staying to capture all this moment. And folks, Good. don't go away. The event's about to start. All right, you uh, folks saw me do my opening outside, and then I stepped inside and did a couple interviews. And as I was walking around inside, I ran into another young artist, and she's right over here. Yeah, we came back outside. Say hi to everybody. Hello, this is all. hello. Hi, Wayne. Tell everybody your name. Sue Waldman. And folks, it's kind of hard to see, but there's an image of wings up there and it's painted and why would you have something like that being shown? Is that, is that something that you've just been working on? Something new? Tell me about it. Yeah, so I started painting angel wings uh, inspired by the transition of a close friend, uh, Michael William Quigley. Uh, in honor of him, a portion of the sales of my angel art goes to a surprise gift service where I surprise someone with a gift. And, People that weren't um, expecting it. Exactly. So it's really it's a pay it forward type of art process because he was such a kind man. He did a lot of wonderful things, and I really miss him. So it's it's my a, way of tribute. honoring him. How yeah. do you feel about having your work shown in such a large show like this? I, it's exciting. It's very exciting. Um, this is called Saved by an Angel, and um, it's a mixture of acrylic with glitter and rhinestones and I also now am doing art in the garden so it, um, I have the next one I think on July 23rd where we're going to paint either angel statues or angel wings in my garden in Verona. Well I'll tell you what once we get closer to that date maybe we can do a little promo and let people know about that coming up. Okay I would right? love that but yeah. The, the, the night yeah. is just getting started thank you for being thank part you. of it and folks I'm going to hang Wayne. out and thank do more you. stuff. Don't come. Say hi to Veronica. <laughs> Yes, let's go. See, let's see Veronica. <laughs> we'll go see Veronica soon. Okay, okay don't go okay, away. Bye. All right, I'm just going to be giving you a, a little bit of a walk through here. Okay, as we mentioned earlier, there's almost 200 pieces here today, which, when you think about it, is a large turnout. But they're all members. Actually, from what I just learned from Suzanne, it's actually only half their membership. So this, is the, this is this is their cool space. Let me try to give you a visual back here too. Okay. Now, as I'm walking around, it's going to get a little crowded. Probably pretty soon. All right. Oh, Veronica, give me a wave. I knew you could do that. <laughs> We're always supporting art in Montclair all the time. As you know, it's a very artsy community, but this is an organization that's been here for many years, and they really support art. They have a few shows throughout the year, but this is their members-only show, and I think it's kind of cool. And I think I'm just going to hang out and maybe try and chat with some more people. Don't go away. All right, folks, I'm continuing my chat with the artist. And this looks kind of festive, but I have a feeling this gentleman right here might be a better idea. First of all, introduce yourself. Say hi to everybody. Hi, I'm Richard Gessner. Where are you from, Richard? I'm from Montclair. I went to all the Montclair schools. I've lived in Montclair since 1962. You went to every single school in Montclair? Well, Watchung, Rand, Hillside. I don't need a list, but I just want yes, to know Yes, I went to all Montclair schools. And you, how long have you been a part of Studio Montclair? Uh, several years. Very good. Yes. 
What am I looking at? And I sometimes uh, know it's hard to say this, but give me an idea. This is a drawing I did. It's very atypical of my work in that I usually work in a fantastical, surreal style. And this is very realistic and pedestrian. Just an ordinary picture of a diner. Uh, everything very plain and recognizable. Is that watercolor? Uh, it's, it's color pencil color and, pencil. and okay. pilot pen. And uh, just the diner, the waitress, the father with his daughter, uh, the Greek flag, the American flag. I have some quiet and direct reference to my Greek heritage in the background in that, that picture. Works. That, that works. And so this this is uh, this is one of my pictures. I did a series of diner pictures. How come you chose that as your subject? It's interesting. Possibly because of my Greek heritage. Okay. Okay. This is uh, connection my here. Greek my Greek ancestry on my mother's side. Maybe I have an affinity for diners. Not that I only eat in diners, but knowing the Greeks have a prevalence in owning diners. Are most of you work with that kind of format? Or do you David do other like No, actually this else? is very atypical. I work in wash, watercolor, color pencil, pilot pen, and this is very atypical of my work. I, my work is usually very fantastical and otherworldly. It's surreal and whimsical, and this is very realistic and commonplace and pedestrian, which is not necessarily bad in and of itself, but it's, it's not just not all. typical of my work. Well, thank you for chatting with me for okay. a while. What's thank your you first name much. again? Richard Gessner. Richard, thank and you. And I'm left-handed, left but this is right-handed. Pick people in here, but I'm left-handed. I wonder if people can tell that. Let's keep on moving around, folks. All right, folks, I'm uh, continually speaking with some of the artists here, and I have somebody right over here. What's your name? My name is Nettie Forney Thomas. And how long have you been a member of the Studio Montclair, by the way? Quite a while. Quite a while. <laughs> yes. Now, this is very interesting. Nice way What am I looking at here? Well, I call it Lifting the ve Veil, and it's Lifting the Veil, okay. It's dry point etching on plexiglass oh, wow. to make it feel like, it look like and feel like lace. So you have the woman lifting the veil and the man on the side. Now show everybody at home what you're going to do with this. Spin this around for me. Well, this shows the uh, lady and the man. And when you turn it to the back, you see just the man. Wow. Okay. This is a very interesting concept of art. Why, why, why did you come up with something like this? Well, it just... You just do it. <laughs> you just do it, right? Is this the majority of what your work is like with yeah. something like this? Yeah. I it think is. it's very creative. I have about I have quite a few that you can see from both sides. From both sides. And it happened when a friend gave me this open frame. So that's ah. what compelled me to do something you can see from both Spin sides. Spin it around one more time. I just want to let people see this. I thought this is not your normal piece of artwork here. It's multifaceted. It has two lives on both sides. And you're not getting dizzy. This is supposed to happen. <laughs> Fantastic. Thank you very much for chatting with me for a second. Thank you. Thank you. All right, folks. You've been seeing me chat with a couple of artists and seeing their work. And this looks like a large can of sardines, but I'm not quite sure. So before I get it wrong, let me check with the artist who's standing right over here. Introduce yourself. Say hi to everybody. Hello. My yeah. name is Marta Kelly. What was I just looking at? You were looking at a picture of... A Taken with an iPhone. I'm an iPhone. I'm yeah, an iPhone. Nice way out. Nice way out. I'm an iPhoneographer. That's okay. It's all right. And uh, this is called Schools Out. This was taken uh, at the Mount of uh, Fairfield Garden Center. Of, uh, schools Out. In other words, it's a school fish, but they're off for the summer. Yes, exactly. They are. Exactly. Yes. Now I've seen some of other pictures and stuff that you do. Is this part of a hobby for you right now, or you've been doing this for a long time, right? It's uh, an avocation. I don't. I don't. Uh, earn a living from it. I enjoy doing it. I enjoy uh, showing my photos, uh, experimenting with apps. How do you feel about being part of Studio Montclair? Mont Studio Montclair is wonderful. It, it, it is. I've just, I'm a member now for about a month, month and a half. Oh, that's true. I'll come and, uh, more. Okay. met a lot of cool people from the organization. They do a lot of things to promote right. the arts here. And and I think we want to let people know that you ran a 5K this morning. Uh, actually, it wasn't this morning. It was yesterday. It was Folks, a 5K. I want you to know, Marta is an average jogger runner. She does 20 miles a day just to do it. <laughs> 
all kinds of weather she's out there. <laughs> Thanks for saying hi. Okay. I'm glad you're part of the show. And uh, good luck with everything that you're doing. Thank you, Wayne. Thank okay, you. folks, I'm going to keep on walking around. Yeah. All right, folks, we moved ourselves back outside again because we have a lot of work being shown in the windows. And I have a young lady right here who's going to tell me her name. Linda Couch. And right over her shoulder, and I'm going to get a little close-up shot of that. That's, what am I looking at here? It is an acrylic. It's called Eternity. And it's a shot of the Niagara River. Where is that? The Niagara River. This is from Grand Island. It's The Niagara River is the river that makes Niagara Falls, between oh. Buffalo and Niagara Falls. That's cool. Did you ever go to Niagara Falls? Yes. I grew up on Grand Island. You grew up in the river? Uh, no. Yes. I grew up on Grand Island, which is in the middle of the Niagara River. Okay. Which, again, soon becomes Niagara Falls. And that was my mother's um, repast celebration. And oh. my daughter, my mother was 84 when she passed away. And my daughter took that photo and then manipulated it. And the cool thing about that was that my mother had to think about guardian angels. And it sort of looks like angels' wings. I see that. Actually, I see that easily. That's very spiritual. Though. Right. That's a good selection to show. Yes. Now, you said you recently just got involved with Studio Montclair? Just recently, What made yes. you get involved, eventually? Uh, <laughs> Because, why wouldn't I get involved? Well, I understand yeah. that, but it took you so long. I, it just happened No excuses, way. right? <laughs> well, no, but... But I'm glad I'm here now. And I'm glad I got a chance to chat with you. Thank yes. you very much. It is probably the only painting I've ever done that is exactly what the photograph is. Not because that was exactly what she captured. Because most people take a photograph of their work, go home and paint it, but it's never exactly the same. It is exactly the same, even though, obviously, because she manipulated it, the lines don't make sense. There's a lot that doesn't make sense in it, but that's, that's what she has. Thank you for chatting, and good luck with everything you're doing, okay? Thank you. I'm going to focus on this as the wings fly away. My imagination? No, it was inspired by having brunches with friends and I saw beautiful glasses with lights coming through them. So I, I was close, that's glasses with a light coming yeah, through. Yeah, yeah, you're absolutely oh, wow, right. Very nice. Yeah. How long have you been a member of Studio Montclair? Oh, for, for many years. Many years. Actually, yeah, yeah. So I understand this is a member show today. This is a member show. Have you yeah. had a chance to show off your work before this? You know, Interestingly, I've only shown in, uh, in in New York and internationally, oh, okay. and I always wanted to be a part of my community. And, uh, and here you are. I guess you're from Montclair because you said that. Uh, here I am. Okay. Yeah, so I'm delighted to finally put a piece in here. Yeah. Thank you for chatting with me for a while. Thank okay. You. Good luck with your work. Thank you. Bye, folks. Don't go away. 
guys, folks. I've been uh, walking around chatting with a couple of different artists. And one of our favorite pieces of work that's here tonight at the Studio Montclair Memory Show is this right over here. I'm not exactly sure what I'm looking at, but I have a feeling you're going to tell me. What's your name? Hi, I'm Trish Janakis. Can you explain what I'm looking at, just in case I don't know? All right, well, this is a, nice and well. it's a raccoon piece. It's ceramic and it's raccoon, which is... Uh, very high fire low reduction and I burnt coarse air into the piece. What's the actual material you have? It's clay. It's clay, okay. Yeah, and I work at, at 1800 degrees when I pull it out of the kiln. And then I hope I'm, you wear gloves. I wear gloves, but I'm basically painting with fire when I make my pieces. So this is like in a liquid form at some point and you mold it? No, I sculpted this piece. It's, it's actually uh, my man-woman uh, in a okay. state of ecstasy. So, um, because you can't tell who it is and their face is back. And I always consider it an abstract version of man-woman. Is that close? But you can, yes, you can't really... You know, I, no, say it? I, I call it a man, but a lot of people call it a woman. Okay. And I feel like it crosses that transgender, like... But it's a, it's a the general format. It's, it's it's a clay subject. It's made out of clay that you heat. Yes, again. It's clay. I uh, I bisque fire it and then I raku fire it. Okay. Which is a Japanese firing process. You heat the kiln up to 1800 degrees, and when it's fiery hot, you take it out of the kiln. I wear gloves and mask. And I put my hair back. Let me ask you something. Is this the one medium that you work with when you do this? I'm a, yes, I'm a raku artist, and I mix found objects. This is an antique. How do you get started frame. with something like this? It's not the norm. I'm from Arizona, and why this is famous in Arizona? Arizona, it's it is. ceramics is huge. The Hopi, Navajo Indians, they all make those black bowls, and those black bowls they burnish them, and they do wow. the smoking process, and they'll fire their pieces in a wood kiln for up to 12 hours to a week. How long have you been a member of Studio Montclair? I actually just joined. You just joined? Yeah. Well, I'm glad you did. Now you just stay there because she's taking a picture and I'm going to take a picture. Don't go away, okay? Well, folks, you saw me uh, walk around in the inside at the beginning of the spot. I chatted with some of our directors and some of our members standing in front of their work. But I just wanted to give you a little bit of an outside visual of this. Besides it still being mobbed on the inside, I think there's about 200 people here tonight, but we're all still walking around, right? But I just wanted you to see what's outside here as well. Uh, people waiting in chairs. I think they're all going to catch a bus. I'm not quite sure why they're out here. No, I know why. They're all waiting. And they're enjoying themselves with the food truck. They have good food. So you have another artist to interview. Hi, are you an artist person? Yes, I am. Or she's yeah. just making this up? I, I am an artist. Do you have something in the window out here? I do. You do? Would you like to talk to me on camera? Sure. I'm going to follow you. Go to it. Okay. Here we go. Thank you. Okay, I'm right behind you. And folks, as I'm walking right, up to speak... the farthest. Okay, but I'll be, I'll be right there. So I, I, all the shows, have been, all the, a lot of the work has been shown out here also. And every once in a while I get a chance to talk to an artist who's out here. She's going to walk me right up to her work. Okay, I'm right behind you. Okay, where are you? You are the very last piece almost. No, I'm the first piece. You're the very first piece. Yes, your glass is always half full, I know. Stand right over there for a second, please. Folks, I just want to get a chance to see what I'm looking at over here. Can you see through the glare? I can, no, I can see through the glare. Okay. First of all, what's your name? My name is Cheryl McNamara. And how long have you been, have you been part of Studio Montclair for a little while now? Um, about two years. Two years? Yes. And this is a member show. So you must be a member. I am a member. You're just sneaking into just show up here. <laughs> Tell me what I'm looking at, by the way. Nice and well. You are looking at a combination of acrylic paint, oil pastel, and actual gold leaf. That's as, in, as in real gold leaf? As in real gold leaf. What made you get into something like that? That's an interesting form. I picked up gold leaf from watching a furniture maker perform gold leafing on a piece they of do furniture. Some of the outlaying, and right? I took those little scraps and said, I can use like this for something. Isn't there like paper thin or something like that? Yeah. That must be difficult to work with. And I said, let's see what happens. So, I that an experiment. Actually, I took one step back. I can really see yeah. it now. I hope the camera can pick it up. I think it can. Do you work with other formats or do you always work with gold? Um, this is actually the first time I'm working with real gold. Seriously? <laughs> yes. What yes. do you normally do? Um, I normally do large-scale oil paintings, but since this is a 
members show with 200 artists, they wanted small work, so I went back to uh, my so abstract you, roots and in created words, this piece. In other small work right next to you, so they told you it was a mistake. You see, what's over, you see how big that is over here? <laughs> no, I think that's great that you're doing it like this. How do you so, feel showing your stuff? I love to share it with the world. Do you get an opportunity to do shows often? Thankfully, yes. Thankfully, yes. yes. Okay. Yeah. How do you feel with a crazy guy with a cowboy hat talking to you? <laughs> All publicity is good. Good More answer. People can very see good my answer. Work. Well, your first name again is Cheryl. Thank you very much for chatting with me for a while. My pleasure. Good luck with everything. Enjoy the rest Thank of the night. Thank you. Picture time. Don't go away.